Natural Beauties, it's your girl Cherie with another video. And today I want to talk to you about your natural hair growth and what happens to your hair during pregnancy. So if you're curious to know what I have learned, my answers to some of the most frequently asked questions regarding your hair growth during pregnancy, then make sure you keep on watching. subject a lot of us have questions on especially if you've never been pregnant before if you've been through it and you really didn't have time to think about it while you were pregnant but you are questioning like what just happened to my hair this is baby number four so I guess I have quite a bit of experience with this subject matter and um, I would share that with you and a couple of things that I have researched to give you all the tea on what your hair goes through during pregnancy. Hey baby, hi my guy, you're so cute. Thank you for being so patient. Some of the typical questions about your hair in during pregnancy are generally like, well I heard that when you get pregnant, you lose all your hair after the baby comes. Is you have the most beautiful hair ever when you get pregnant. I just can't wait till I get pregnant because my hair is going to be long and flowing and beautiful. <sighs> my hair is dry and brittle and it's breaking. Like, I think it's falling out now. Is that <laughs> so? Those are all great questions. Even more statements you might hear are the hair grows faster, it's super thick, it grows twice as long. I have to say that I think I've experienced some of my best hair towards the end of my pregnancies and then. Afterwards, that's a whole nother story. I actually have a video on that topic about postpartum hair shedding. If you are interested, I did that about a year ago, interestingly enough. And I give you all the insights on what happened to my hair as far as shedding goes um, when I got to around three or four months postpartum with pretty much all of my children. So let's get into all of that. I'm gonna talk about all the details, the good, the bad, and the ugly about hair growth during pregnancy. So I did make some adjustments to my hair care regimen just based on the fact that I wanted to go a more holistic route and kind of go back to what I used to do when I first became natural some 15 years ago. A lot of that was based on what I now know is Ayurvedic hair care practices. Um, and one of those things that I have incorporated is a hair tea. Have to give a shout out to Tea Therapy. They had a wonderful product called vitamin hair tea their hair vitamin tea contains over 10 natural and organic hair vitamins minerals plants and herbs if you will that work together really well to strengthen your hair to promote hair growth to the scalp just overall a wholesome product to incorporate into your ayurvedic regimen you can use the hair tea as a rinse as a pre-poo and you can also mix it along with a lot of other Ayurvedic herbs as well um, if you want to do some sort of mask, some sort of deep conditioning treatment or even a cleansing um, clay mask. And I do have information on that hair to see if you're interested in getting some for yourself or entering into their monthly giveaway. Definitely check them out at Tea Therapy on Instagram and I also have a code if you want to get 10% um, off on your own hair vitamin T. They also have two all natural oils. They have a growth oil as well as a oil if you are having issues with your scalp. So definitely check those out. My code is natural and I'll leave all the information in the video description box. So make sure you check that out. In addition to the hair tea rinses, I've started back using some of the Ayurvedic powders many of you may know about if you're into DIYs like I am and um, hibiscus powder is something that um, I have looked into for quite some time hibiscus the hibiscus plant is known to curtail hair fall if you use it regularly in the regimen I've also invested in some shea bay powder I have not used this just yet One second. hey baby it's okay okay so Shemaya decided he needed to make a guest appearance today and so he may or may not be with me for the duration of this video. Just a FYI. So if you see and or hear a little cooing baby during this video, that is what's going on. Hey. 
Okay, so let me continue. Um, adding the hibiscus powders. I have um, a few videos coming where I am doing DIY conditioner using those powders. Um, I also did put up a all natural Ayurvedic shampoo where I used Amla and uh, Shikakai powder, I believe it was. And those things work great to get your hair and your scalp clean and also to strengthen your hair. Henna is another one of those um, natural plant ingredients that I've used in the past and it definitely strengthens your hair. Ooh. So if you are looking for something all natural to achieve those kinds of results with Ayurveda, it's a great place to start. Let me talk a bit about what happens um, to your hair during pregnancy. And first, if you don't know anything about hair growth and the stages of hair growth, I'll get briefly into that, not too deep. So there are actually four stages of hair growth. Um, there is, yes, there are, yes. I know, isn't that surprising? <laughs> um, so there are four stages of hair growth. There is the antigen phase, which is the growth phase. There is the catagen phase, which is like the re the, re <laughs> the regressive transition phase. There, I know. Yes, that's that's a weird phase, isn't it? Because um, nothing's happening. Your hair isn't growing. It's just kind of chilling in the follicle. Um, there is also the telogen phase. Let's keep it together. There's <laughs> also the telogen phase, and that is actually a resting period. Very interesting. And it plays a very interesting role during pregnancy. And then finally, there's the exogen phase, which is basically where, you know, exogen sounds like exit, where your hair starts to shed, fall out, whatever it needs to do. But the end of the phase of that hair follicle is over, and the cycle then it starts to. Um, basically repeat itself. So what happens with pregnancy is that the telogen phase, remember I told you that was gonna play a really key part in this. The telogen phase is extended. Your hair growth increases maybe around six months uh, of pregnancy or about 15 weeks um, and that increases. So you have a longer growth phase. Well, you also have a longer telogen phase where your hair does not shed or fall out. And let me tell you, when my hair has been not shedding, I mean, each wash day, especially before he arrived, I could count on both hands how many hairs were shedding out. Like maybe 10 hairs I would see in my tangle teaser, and that was it. So um, I really did enjoy that, that was nice. But I am a little bit nervous about what's going to happen in about two or three months when that um, telogen phase has come to an end and the exogen phase comes back and rears its ugly head. Because what happens after, bless you, that is so cute, bless you. What happens after the telogen phase has ended and you have all of that additional hair that has not shed just kind of accumulate accumulate on your head. The exogen phase works to get rid of all of those hairs and then some. And so that is where you may see an excessive amount, which, which looks like and is an excessive amount of hair shedding, um, hair fall. Your wash day is complete with your hair coming out in what looks like clumps in several areas and it's typically around your hairline. But I go into more detail about that in my postpartum hair loss video. I just wanted to give you kind of like a full uh, view of what those phases of hair growth look like, especially during pregnancy. Um, I've definitely noticed hair growth. I have been actively trimming my hair. I had, like you guys, I had a lot of dead ends in the very, very back and um, a lot of split ends and knots. Knowing that this is going to happen again, you know, once I gave birth to my son, I said, you know, let me be proactive and do different kinds of treatments, do some Ayurveda strengthening treatments in the months leading up to what I know will possibly be significant hair loss. And that's, you know, my way of trying to see if I can curtail some of that. I think 
This goes hand in hand with also remembering to keep up with your vitamins. Don't stop taking your prenatals. Ladies, especially if you're nursing, don't stop taking your prenatals because all of those nutrients that you get from there that you were giving to your baby while it was in the womb, you're still giving those nutrients during nursing and you're still losing those things from your own body. So I would say continue with those. I'm still taking my prenatals. I'm definitely still taking my iron. Iron deficiency or anemia can definitely contribute to your hair loss. And along with that, continue to drink lots and lots of water. I drank lots and lots of water during pregnancy. And most of the time I'm super thirsty anyway because I'm nursing. So I have to continue to drink lots and lots of water. Keeping yourself hydrated is going to lead to more hydrated and healthier hair. If you don't, you have drier hair. Dry hair leads to hair loss, hair breakage. So those things still go hand in hand. Another thing I would definitely say is make sure you keep your protein and moisture balance in check. That is also very important. Again, something else that can lead to breakage if you don't. Definitely check out Ayurveda. There are so many options with different natural plants and herbs that you can incorporate into your hair care regimen that can just help you not only during your pregnancy and postpartum periods, but just in general as a way to grow healthier hair. And last but not least, definitely don't worry about this. Like, look sis, if you are tired, I know I was extremely tired. Y'all saw I fell off the face of the earth at the end of my pregnancy. And I recorded a lot, but I was not able to put up the videos. Definitely do not freak out if you can't prep your hair before this happens. Because guess what? It is hair and more than likely, it may take some time, but it will get back. I didn't know everything I needed to know about my hair and hair loss that was going to happen. I thought I had done something wrong after I had my first son and my hair was thin and looking crazy. I had dyed it and it was a mess. But I bounced back. I learned more ways to take care of my hair. You know, exert a little patience and you'll be back on track. It's not a huge deal. Any, if you have any questions, I'm here. I am reachable via my Natural Beginnings Instagram page as well as my Facebook group under the same name. And I'll insert that. That's always down in the video description box. If you want to reach out, I'm always open to questions and I get into discussions of different techniques and products for natural hair on my Facebook group as well. Hopefully this was really helpful for you guys. Please let me know if it was. Let me know down in the comments and also maybe tag a friend if you know someone who's expecting. There's a lot of us expecting or were expecting and still are because you know we had some quarantine babies this year. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. If you're new here, I forgot to say welcome but welcome to my channel hopefully you will stick around hit that subscribe button definitely hit the notification bell and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back so we're gonna get back into the natural swing of things back here on my channel thank you so much for sticking by me i promise you i will get back to a state of consistency with video posting and that's it you guys thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate you don't forget as always to live out loud own your truth and let your light shine Bye. Say bye.